Look who we Sure it's very interesting. We also have a young lady in a fetching green sweater with loads on the back, white and black tab and dress. Done. An American tourist over here. It's quite clearly too busy here. And I hope you want to find out what it's worth. If you ever find out what it's worth, it's okay. They all want to be. restricted food by wearing from Harry Potter is this is Phil Harper and Harper owns Bridges Eyes a beautiful faux Venetian bridge right there only people who go to Hartford can go through there because that's part of the college it's really not that pretty on the inside Really? Well, we'll admire it from afar. Yeah. <laughs> the Western Library, which has a really cool one-room exhibit. So you guys have to see it's really awesome. What's it of? Um, from Marks and Genius. And it's just original manuscripts. Um, amazing historical works that the author owns. So like Darwin's first scribblings for his books, that yeah. sort of thing? Yeah. Wow, okay, yeah. <laughs> This is the original, like the actual one he drew. Mm -hmm. Look at the stippling now. The little dots. Mm -hmm. 
are 32 here. 32 colleges? Yeah, in Oxford. It's Oxford University, but yeah. each for undergrad, you apply to the colleges individually, no matter what you want to study. Um, and they're pretty independent. They're independently functioning. Uh huh. Under the Oxford branch. sky and I can hear the thunder and everything's imagining and so in my mind I work through the changes biding time till the rain comes and over the fields I That's all Merton, and then that's Christchurch. The one with these, the point? Yeah. These, this is all Christchurch fields. Okay. And then these are Christchurch mountains. We were going to walk through them. Well, I still hear the thunder, but it's off in the distance now. This is Christchurch. This is one of the entrances to Christchurch. How many gardeners they have in the city? There are so many people whose job is just to like keep these gardens pretty. They're wow. beautiful though. Like look at them. I would love to play croquet here because the only way you get into that little part is like through that door. Uh huh. So like it's perfect. strange group of animals right now. They like to gather in packs and look at buildings. You can see them just above. <laughs> We're amongst them now, then. Strange behaviors. Curious. Ever so curious. <laughs> it's best in these times to become one of the packs you don't attack. Wonderland store right over there. Here, uh... There's a store? Yeah. It's right there. There's a little red sign. It's just this tiny little alpha. of a day in Oxford. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> So we are now at the Eagle and Child, which is where J.R.R. Tolkien and C.S. Lewis 
used to come to hang out when they studied here at Oxford. And I just ordered my dinner. Beth is ordering hers. It's been a very long day and we're both exhausted. So I think this is going to be the end of the video. Yeah, probably. Um, the next video will probably deal with Beth's birthday, which is coming up. Her birthday's on Friday, and yeah. And then after that, it's the first trip to London. So that'll be exciting. There's the camera. <laughs> All right. Explain the history of Jesus College. A group of devil worshippers that decided to be the blasphemous as they could. They built a building to do that. <laughs> it's where they study Satan and all the other dark arts. It's heard that Voldemort started his career here. <laughs> if you listen quietly, you can still hear the screams.